What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing the Bao Chin, straight from the cask, 10 year old Oloroso Sherry cask matured. There was 952 bottles in this outturn. Distilled on August 18th, 2010. Bottled April 13th, 2021. So this year's edition, not quite 11 years old, but very close. 58.3% ABV not chill filtered, no added color, all that great stuff. This is the box it comes in. It's not cheap considering it's only a 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, and it doesn't seem like this is very expensive material here with this box. But if it requires this to be non-existent or at least cardboard in order to drop the price a little bit, I would recommend they do so. You're looking at about 150 to 175, some places $200 for these um, peated versions of the Edward Dower, basically. Same company. But this one's really, really nice. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of, and I was trying to think of it the first time I tried it. First experience with the Balchin, I really do like Edward Dower. That's the non peated version of this whiskey good amount of peat not heavy heavy on the peat and it's definitely more of a barbecue style peat reminds me a little bit maybe of the balvini 14 peat week in the peat style okay it's a little bit uh barbecuey less medicinal if i had to compare it to isla's i would say it leans more towards like a port charlotte as opposed to a Lefroy, for example. So barbecue ribs kind of get like, I don't know if you've ever had barbecue potato chips, but barbecue flavored potato chips is kind of what I get here on the nose. A little bit of a sweetness from the Oloroso casks as well. Really nice nose. Honestly, it's a beautiful nose on this. A little bit of like a roasted apple there. Like caramel glazed apples, roasted. And then again with that like barbecue honey barbecue sauce and barbecue chip kind of note on the nose on the palate so there is definitely some heat there and i'm going to add water in just a second but full of flavor this whiskey honestly lots of beautiful barbecue notes Nice sweetness, like I said, that, that apple note kind of carries through that roasted apple. This is a perfect fall whiskey, actually. It's got all the flavors you would like to enjoy, both indoor and outdoor. I think this would pair wicked with a cigar. But yeah, wow. Really, really nice. After the palate acclimates a little bit, you get really great notes not as much burn and then all that flavor punches through punch through both times but the second time your palate has adjusted and it's really really tasty stuff like i said about 150 to 175 dollars canadian depending on where you are but i'm gonna say it's worth it this is really good stuff i really enjoy it i'm gonna give it one more sip i'm gonna add a touch of water Yeah, the way it's drinking after that second and third sip, hard for me to even want to add water to it, but I'm going to anyway, just for the sake of the video. Although obviously add water to your liking. It is a bit hot. It can be a bit hot, but really tasty stuff. Really, really tasty stuff.
a little bit more on the char notes now. And the palette's a bit more mellowed out, a little bit with that water. A little sweeter than it was before, a little less smoky with the water. It's a fine balancing act with this one. I wouldn't add too much water. You don't want to ruin it. Very, very light amount of water. Although it is 58.3%, don't go crazy on that just because it's very tasty as is. Okay, so despite the heat, I'm really enjoying this. I think people that are more sensitive to heat maybe wouldn't score this as high as I'm gonna score this, uh, or maybe they would have to add more water to really thoroughly enjoy it. It's only 500 milliliters, so maybe adding water is a good thing because it'll take the bottle a little bit further. I'm gonna give this one an 89, very close to a 90 for me. I think I probably will end up thinking that this is a 90 once it gets to about halfway and sits for a little while. Good stuff, I'm really happy with it. Uh, really happy I purchased it. I prefer it to the Edward Dower um, version of the company. I think it does well with a little bit of peat. Just nice stuff overall. And I highly recommend that, so that's an 89. That's it for me guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can support this channel on Patreon and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Cheers. Be